first one from a marketing point of view about building your uh, leads uh, into your business you want to think about themes so from a volume perspective what are your big rocks so for example yeah prepare like a pro obviously the podcast is our main form of content creation and the themes that i have every week uh what i'm doing right now a weekly update where i'll present on a particular topic either for coaches or for footballers <clears throat> and then uh, within that I'll, pre- I'll discuss who's coming on the podcast i'll provide a power tip um, in terms of a workout provide a free workout uh, and i'll either promote a local podcast or um, a community section <clears throat> in the within the show then we have our live interview that we do every week on thursdays with a guest uh, that's either an athlete uh, or they're a high performance coach psychologist so it's quite a holistic podcast number two would be have a schedule uh, like i mentioned before every thursday we'll have someone on the show for a a interview every week uh, on my off day at Melbourne Footy Club. I'll, I'll do our weekly update um, where I'll present on a topic. Uh, so there are two themes. Um, from there, there'll be four different videos that are created under 60 seconds. Um, so have that, have that schedule that you can repurpose content. It might be old content, like every Friday, we release a bite-sized episode from a podcast I did typically a year ago. 10 minutes will be released on our podcast and also some um, YouTube shorts uh, for Instagram and TikTok, so under 60 second videos to help promote an old episode. So think about how you can repurpose the work that you're already currently doing uh, and and make sure you've got a schedule on a weekly basis so there's some consistency uh, there with your, with your marketing. Now moving over to more the engagement side of things, so make sure you're involved with the community. I'm constantly posting questions on our Instagram story, um, posting polls, um, so any any way that you can bring your community in, in our academy membership, we've got a discussion forum where a lot of the topics that I present on in the academy come from the members, so some things that they want to work on uh, and, and be educated on. So involve your community, provide free value. Um, so, for example, for us, we've got a newsletter um, where I'm, I'm, every week I'm, I'm sending out a educational um, content for free we've got obviously our podcast which is all free we've got a blog post on our website so provide as much value as you can for free with your um, with your marketing and then number f- um, four for that would be collaborations so something i find massively effective for building your audience and building the amount of followers that you have as well as the engagement is involving um, similar like-minded people in your uh, niche in your uh, industry so for example things that i've done in the past it would be obviously the podcast which is collab because you've got a guest uh, we've done group size podcasts where i'll have a specific topic like high performance uh, gyms facilities around the country and i had about six different gym owners that are strength initiating coaches all around the country and they come on came on for a live show and then within each one of those um, 10 minute sections that the guest talked about became its own episode Um, More recently, I've been doing LinkedIn collab guest blog posts, which has seemed to be working quite well with the LinkedIn algorithm. It's getting a lot of reach. You can invite um, the person who wrote the blog post to share it on their content. And number five, so they're all about building new, getting new clients into your business. Number five, I I remember a a friend of mine um, always who used to run a gym said it's far easier to keep a client than it is to find a new one. So retention is so important. And what I've found um, from a retention point of view is you wanna make sure you're continually working on your product. Don't just think it's complete, continually refining it. So examples of what I do with our, our program, our strength and conditioning program is I'll uh, add new arms to that program. So more recently, we've got a mature age uh, program for a local footballer that doesn't have a lot of time. They're working full time, they might have kids. Um, they're you know, above 30 years of age or perhaps they haven't played football and they want to get back to playing footy and they want to have a program that's going to keep them playing for longer, prolong their career, um, but is also going to work around their schedule. So that's our most recent one. 